Uh, ako si Frankie. Galing ako sa probinsya ng Leyte. I am Frankie. I come from the province of Leyte. From an early age, I saw troubles in my home. My father was very violent. He had no job. This is why, at an early age, I began to get involved with bad things. Like I would go to the markets, and because I was so hungry, I learned to steal. I remember he was always sent to jail because he would beat us. He would really cause bruises. I remember once, he tied me up and hit me so much that my leg almost broke. Then, in 1993, one night, I thought my father was going to kill me. So I decided to escape. I ended up in Manila. I am Anthony Biscaya. I come from a family of eight children. I was just seven years old when my parents got separated. When this happened, they just forget about us and would just leave us places and care for. My father eventually got a new family. I did not feel any love from him and his new partner. They would usually abuse us. He asked for no reason. Whatever his new wife said, he believed it. One day, I decided to leave and look for my mother, but I couldn't find her. That is why I had to leave on the streets. Manila is, right now, is around 14 to 15 million people. 60% of them are living in the squatters, the slum area. In Asia, we are, we are number five in having a hunger problem. Uh, it's getting worse, probably due to corruption in the government. Many people are poor because of uh, unemployment. Our economy is really sinking. Many Filipinos here are going abroad to find work. The minimum wage cannot feed a five mouth to feed. And the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. I am Jerry De Baguio. Before my parents would take me to school, but I would not study. At home, I was always being hit, but even though they did that to me, I still loved them. One time, I was beaten so bad by my father that I decided to leave home and I started roaming around. I would pick up trash like plastic until one day I got lost and decided to stay in Payatas and I got into drugs. I was shown how to take drugs by a drug addict. He taught me how to sniff glue. Each day we would sit in the big hole and just sniff glue. Then we would go up to the rubbish trucks to collect rubbish so that we could get money to buy more glue. That was our job. I was 14 years old then, and that's when I started to use drugs. I used shabu, marijuana, glue. That was all that I would do every day, just drink and smoke and hang out with girls. I wanted to change myself, but couldn't stop using drugs. All my friends were doing it. Nobody trusted me anymore. Everyone looked down on me. My name is Grace. I am 16 years old. My parents have 10 children. I am the fourth child. My mother is just a plain housewife. My father works and he is the one who feeds all of us. 
his 10 children. I was not able to finish my studies outside. I just finished the sixth grade. When my father got sick, he couldn't work. He was not able to cope because we were too many in the family to feed. That is why I began to have problems. I began to drink and smoke. Nesimo is uh, taken from the Bible, which means useful. When we take the, the young people of the street, they were useless actually. A lot of people are doesn't like them. Their, their lives are being transformed little by little, and later on, when they get out of Nesimo, they're useful. Basically, their problems are drug addiction. They live in the street. Either their, family, their father left them, or the, the, of course the parents are separated, or the parents cannot really provide for them, for the food. And so these kids go out on the streets and find shelter there. Most of them are not only physically abused, but also sexually abused, the, the boys. Some of them, even the guys, are being uh, sold as prostitutes. Some of our girls are being, are victims of uh, incest, rape, child molestation, you know. Last July, when we had this workout, we asked them to draw their father of the 15 participants whom we asked to, to draw their father, 13 of them doesn't like to draw their father. And we asked them why? Because all of them hated their fathers. And I asked them again, why? Some of them raped by their father. Others were, well, of course, they were not raped by the father, but the father sold them to their friends. At a young age, I had to sell myself to men and to women. I did not want to do it, but I need to survive. I needed money. I needed to feed my hungry stone. Horrible things happen. One time, I was raped. And on another occasion, I was sold for the amount of only 500 pesos. They will start vocational courses, uh, that's life skill, uh, automotive and, and welding, uh, food technology. These are the profession they will be uh, using later on with the, in their life and probably the means of uh, source of living for them. Oh, this is the office of Onesimo Foundation. Here we uh, conduct all the uh, papers, the, the, all the operations here. This is the secondary classroom. This is the high school. 